beat the dawn by a little bit, so no sun in my face. So this should be, uh, this should mean I arrive at just about the right time to get the maximum amount of detecting done before the thundering herd rolls in. It's a beautiful day. It's in the 90s in Texas again. Only stickler is that it's almost impossible to cut a plug because our ground is already cracking from uh, heat and drought. So I'll see what I can get while I'm out here and see how, see if I can get a way, to, see if I can find a way to do uh, no damage or, uh, and uh, we will get back at it shortly. See you at the first dig. I don't know if this is actually that signal poor a day. I'm just having trouble finding anything. But that's a quarter, about a couple inches down. So, <laughs> my first find of the day, other than some uh, garbage and some uh, melted uh, metal. Very shallow target by this tree. <laughs> and it looks like a dime. Hopefully, just another penny or maybe a dime. Well, that's it, I'm on top of it. <clears throat> there, I think I got it. Piece of metal. It's a solid thing. Probably trash again. <laughs> Yeah, it pinpointed a large can. Zinc target, but it's something you don't expect to find in uh, in North Texas. Is a uh, souvenir uh, piece of the uh, Eiffel Tower. That's pretty cool. But I don't find anything else. At least that's something you need to meet around here. All right, it looked like a looked like a quarter signal. There it was a nice shiny surface quarter. Reset drop. This one is jumping around in the trash range, but it's about coin size, so I'll just dig it anyway. Coin or ring size. <laughs> it looks, looks ring like. Nah, it's just a, it is a kid's ring. It's a kid's ring, a little wire ring with a little uh, bling on it. Cool. It's a ring. <laughs> this was another, this was a, uh, could have been a ring sound, but it's another key. At least I'm finding objects of interest. Not sure what this is. It's in a, basically in a nickel range, and it's about coin size. So.
Well, that looks like a ring again. Little butterfly ring. Not sure what that is. No, it's an owl. Comes up in the nickel range. But, unfortunately it doesn't look golden, but it's a ring. Let's There it is, the infamous shotgun shell. <laughs> I'm out here walking, but... Yeah, I'm out here walking between these soccer fields and I'll own them. So let's see, I think I've got a... Dying. Maybe the outside chance of a quarter. Sounds like I'm right on top of it. Quarter signal. There's two quarters, two quarters out here between these fields so far. <laughs> Maybe a tiny. Turn it off for a second. Yeah, I'm out of here with something called the U.S. Coins Program. Uh, I got from a book. Maybe the title doesn't come to me right now. So. Anyway, uh, it uh, just gave me a copper piece. Alright. This is something firmly in the zinc or junk range. Let's see if we got anything. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it's one of those bolts. I don't know. Like it's like a dial or something on the, the radio with a bolt attached. I'm not sure if I got ID norm set on this or not, but uh, that is a penny at an 87. Uh, that's a little bit different than. It's about right. I must have 80 norm set because I think it's the same as 18 kilohertz set. is 79 could be a uh, almost anything or a zinc penny
Yeah, it's a zinc penny, but it's uh, not uh, eaten up yet. This is Texas Tiger Digs. I'm going to do a quick roundup on uh, part B, or the Sunday uh, edition of my weekend hunt. I went back out early to the uh, quote-unquote big park. I caught it early this time. I got out before sunrise, and so I met the dawn at the park. There was, you know, there was just the early, the early morning beginnings of light coming through. So uh, I was happy about that. And you saw that in the videos. And uh, so I went out to that park and and got a selection of stuff. Uh, so I went out with the uh, with the uh, Coinmaster GT uh, using the nail coil, and I did a few runs with that. Did okay. Uh, and then I finished off the park as it got a little bit later and as the crowds began to increase with the uh, XP Deus just for the speed of swing. Uh, so I, I I could get out and cover more territory more quickly. So uh, all together at that park, I had this for clad count. Three quarters, a couple of dimes, nickel, penny, and this shiny new quarter which was a recent drop. I just moved a couple of blades of grass and there it was. And I got uh, a variety of unusual pieces. I have a, an Eiffel Tower pin or emblem or something. Not that this is not a very nice neighborhood and you might not have it for international travelers, but it's not something you find every day in that part of North Texas. And uh, I found two rings. You know, so it uh, it uh, it added to my ring count. I found a little uh, wired ring, kind of broken. A uh, little, little bling on it. A uh, kid's ring. And I found here a little aisle. Uh, I came up in the 60s right at nickel range and it also is a kid's ring so that's cool so I uh, don't I I'm sure these aren't anything good but uh, they are they are they are rings which makes them good in of themselves and I found another king key and I'll just throw it in my box of uh, wonders with the rings keys rings I collect those I just throw them all in my little my little box and uh, of course I will do the same with the Eiffel Tower. So uh, and also this is my trash from the morning. Uh, you know just start normal can slow, uh, uh, can slow, can slow. Uh, this was for a later one and this big old washer. These washers sure sound good. That sounded like a high 90s. Uh, sounded like I was digging up another silver ring at least but, but didn't turn out to be much. And of course the old all the uh, the uh, what I like to call the the backwood relic hunters uh, pull tab a, a little end of a shotgun shell you know, little primer has been hit so it's been fired like I said these parks are, were once uh, uh, grazing land farmland plains land so uh, you f I found a couple out at this old park so. That's that's cool, and I don't, I don't know. This is a piece of I don't know, very heavy. It's got uh, it's got something, some kind of insulator for some electronics. So that's it, and the you know the ordinary pool tabs, etc. So that was that, and a, a few of these, a couple of these pieces. Uh, this uh, this was from the other park, and I went out to the uh, to the to the second one of the nearby parks. You know the the little what the ones I like to call the pounded parks most often. And I just went out there with a, something called the U.S. Coins Program from Andy Sabisha's XP Dance book. Of course, I can't describe that. It's copyrighted. But just, you know, it, the book is definitely worth purchasing if you have an XP Dance. Um, you know, he had a great E-Track book. And I think this is just a, as great, if not greater, Dance book. Uh, so, uh, so I went out with everything that and I turned on the Coins Program. And what did I get? I got coins. I got one, two, three, four, five, six seven pennies and I think only one I'm guaranteed is a, is a crusty zinc. I'm sure there's some more zincs in that pile but this is the only one I got. This this got the eaten up zinc feel to it. So that's pretty good. You know seven seven coins uh, seven coins out there and uh, you know the clad count I got from the day. It's one of those clad kind of days. I did I did enjoy getting the little the little souvenirs, little uh, keep little, 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 little keepers and like I said, but and of course the key. 
but that, that's about it so uh that was it for today uh like i said i started the day with the coin master gt and the nail coil still stable still doing what it's supposed to do i converted it over to the xp desk just because of its speed and i was basically swinging and running or walking quickly so that was cool so i was only out at the the morning park about two and a half hours and i spent about an hour hour and a half maybe at the at the second park it was in the heat of the day and it's gotten up into the 90s in texas so and the 90s with a humidity of 70 70 70 percent plus does make things really interesting well that's all i've got for today uh, of course i'll be back on the, the ordinary work work runs uh uh next week i'm not sure how often i'll tr i'll try to get out for a lunch hunt every now and then uh, you know or uh you know try to you know try to hit uh uh, uh I have scouted a couple of new parks I haven't hit yet, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming up on the uh, up on the uh, the menu uh, very very soon. So I'll let you know when I'm in those parks, and I'll let you know how it goes. Anyway, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and I will talk to you at the next hunt, at the next dig. You have a wonderful whatever's left of your weekday weekend, or whenever you whatever you're whenever you're watching this. <laughs> uh, goodbye.